So someone wanted to know about a crowded optic disc and how we use that information in neuro-ophthalmology. And so crowded means it's small with no cup to disc ratio or perhaps a small cup to disc ratio, like it's less than 0.1. And that small crowded disc with a tiny cup is a predisposing structural risk factor, which we call the disc at risk for non arteritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. And the reason that is, is it's thought that small vessel ischemia in the optic nerve head can cause segmental swelling, like sector edema, and that's gonna produce an altitudinal field defect usually, but it can produce any field defect. And because you're in this tight space, the crowded optic disc, that is a disc at risk for the development of segmental ischemia, edema, and a vicious cycle that leads to non-arteritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. Now the crowding of the disc can be congenital or there could be rocks in your optic nerve. Those calcified or non-calcified rocks are called drusen. So sometimes people have a born with it, a small optic nerve, and some people have drusen rocks inside their optic nerve. And those nodular excrescences are a predisposing risk factor for NAION. The reverse is also true. So if you have what you think is NAION, but they don't have the crowded small disc at risk in the fellow eye, let's say the cup to disc ratio is 0.5 in the uninvolved other eye, then you really should be thinking that maybe this is arteritic anterior ischemic optic rather than non-arteritic. So we're gonna look in the other eye for the crowded small disc, and if we don't see it, AAION should be on the differential. If we do see it, more likely be NAION, and that's how we use the crowded optic disc in neuro.